Ladies and gentlemen, we have the movie Virtual here. Once again at the New York International Film and Video Festival, Al Burgo reporting live doing some interviews with David Abramov, Mira, Adam Straza. They're here. And the movie is called what? Virtue. It sounds very serious, and I won't want to play around with these guys, so I know it's going to be a serious movie. These guys look like they could snap a neck in a New York minute. Okay, these guys don't play around. They're good-hearted guys. Uh, they look like great-looking guys. If I ever was going to produce a movie again, I would call these guys in. These guys, they look like the serious business. So I'm not going to talk too much. They're going to do the talking for themselves. Al Burgo, turning it over to the Virtue people. All right. What do you feel about the movie? Do you want to say anything special about it? So basically, it's, uh, it's just uh, my old father, my, my late good old father, he, he, was, uh, he was basically teaching me some a way of respect. Uh, and I want to continue delivering this to the world. And uh, that's basically my main intention. So through this film, it's a short film, but to give a deep, uh, meaningful message. And uh, hopefully it's going to reach all over, whoever is going to watch it and is going to learn the message from it. And uh, as a creator, I don't believe in creating something and being involved with something that it doesn't have a meaning, a positive meaning. Let me interrupt you for a minute, David. You said it has a message. What kind of message are we talking about? Well, basically, whoever is going to see the movie will understand that it's about courtesy, kindness. And we're kind of lacking it in our... Uh, Communities. Exactly. And I think there are good people all over, but uh, we can always do more. We have to bring it out. And you're here to bring, it, bring some of that I'll kindness out. my best. As long as I'm alive, I'll do my best. Are you yeah. going to force feed it out? Or are you just like... You mean like punching and kicking it? Yes, sir. No, no. I don't, the violence is... In, in that film also, in that short film, the character doesn't really want to be involved with a fight. But he holds the fight. He have, It's like an old samurai thing. He has a sword in his... You know, he carry a sword, but he's not going to use it. He does, he's not pl planning to use it. It's just, uh, he wants he want peace. He wants to do his thing. We're talking about the, the guy, the, uh, the character. Is he on your left side right now? No, no, no. I'm the main character. Whoa, wait a minute. This Excuse me. He's uh, is, uh, is an excellent guy. His name is Adam. And uh, he actually leading the, basically the gang that is messing up with a, with a homeless guy. And uh, during that situation what's going on they're basically learning the message they're learning the lesson i see they're in training yeah exactly yeah all right don't give us too much of a good story because yeah. uh, we don't want to watch it enjoy it and learn from it uh again i believe in something that uh when we do something it needs to be with a meaning have you done stuff before regarding filmmaking uh well there is a it's okay it's okay if you didn't coming out i uh i'm a writer too uh, there is a book coming out and another project is on the way uh film uh, making uh, wise Great. and uh i'm uh, very much involved in the fitness uh world in new york city in new york city brooklyn all over all over the Five boars? Somebody said something over here. Hold Just on. Just tri-state area. I see. Whoa, what a pretty girl and a nice voice. Tri-state tri area. Right. And what's your position? Are you Are you one of the producers on the show? No, she's I, an assistant production. I was yeah, just the eye be behind the lens. Are you involved in martial arts? No, I'm not. She's but I know if, if you, but if you need help, you just make a phone call, and these guys could come right down and take care of it. This is why I'm right behind them. Whoa, she knows where to stay. <laughs> Thank you. Getting back to David Bromov. Yes. Well, basically, I uh, appreciate that. That it's a, uh, it's uh, one uh, step forward in that whole thing of uh, filmmaking and reaching out the world and uh, making uh, a difference in the way uh, as much as I can in the way I can. That's basically it. It sounds like you're, you're on the right track and you're trying to do something very positive. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I look at life uh, with a vision and I can't uh, be involved with something that I don't believe in it. And uh, I very much believe in what I did. I'm very proud of that little project. And for many, many, many good projects uh, to come along in the future with God's help and good people's help. And uh, that's it. I guess uh, I know my way. I know my uh, path. Hopefully things will be uh, going in the right track and uh, it will be expressed in the best way. 
be Adam, happy. you want to say something? Yeah. You're sweating like Nixon. I mean, what's well, the matter yeah, with I'm you? I'm an interrogation. I mean, yeah, the, the guy is sw you you, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. sweating like someone's indicting you. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. You gym, don't want to wipe you down, but you know, I don't want to touch you. I, I have terrible yeah. obsessive compulsive disorder. the hottest disorder. year in history. What? It's what's the that? the hottest year in history right now. This is the hottest year in history? Since 1880, since they started keeping numbers. What are you basing this on? I'm basing it on a fact. I saw this. He reads the papers, this guy. Yeah, this no. guy knows everything. This guy, I trust everything you say. Nostradamus has nothing on you. They started keeping temperatures in 1880s. What's and that? They started keeping numbered temperatures on the record in 1880 worldwide. Oh, you mean literally the climate? Yes. Uh, I don't know if you've been to the Middle East. Trump's anything going on well, in New York right now? Worldwide. worldwide. Having a good time. Not the absolute. <laughs> worldwide. Worldwide. The so relative numbers worldwide, day by day, we're the highest. This is the hottest year in record. So we're that's that's what. I guess we all have to cool down. That's exactly. Right. That's why he's sweating, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is what this is what it's all about over here at the New York International Film Festival. It's not just talking about your movie. It's talking about the weather. It's talking about people. It's about talking about life. You get a free fly, a platform of a smorgasbord board of David subjects. David works out barefoot in Gold's gym and eats hummus at the same time. This is what I'm I talking. I don't eat hummus. It's just, <laughs> this guy's a weenie. He does splits barefoot. He okay. thinks he's in the he thinks he's in the it's, desert. Uh, 10, 10 right. What time's your movie showing? Sorry, 10, 10. Okay, so we're gonna have to wrap this up right now because he's got to get down in and greet his audience in. And uh, you guys want to finalize it with a, a, a quick word? Be good, be kind. That's it. You heard it. One message. One message. Be good, be kind. Adam, you want to say something sarcastic? I, sure. I think we should use midgets to wean pedophiles off of children. Good idea. Let's get those midgets and kick some butt. <laughs> Midgets, where are you? Let's kick some butt. Yeah, Al Borgo reporting live at the Film Festival of New York, down here on 12th Street. Al, thank you very much. East 12th Street, 2nd Avenue. Thank you very much. Thank God you. bless you guys. You. Good luck with your movie. Take care, thank man. you, man. I'll be down there in a minute. I'm going to see it.